What do you do if you want access to the old version of an app without using site loadly and dealing with re-signing every seven days? What if you want access to your in-app purchases which are not available with enterprise signing? Let's see what's available from Apple's App Store for semi-tethered tethered jailbroken iPhones. In the previous video, we saw how to extract and sign an old IPA onto your new phone. However, what if I just want a slightly older version of my existing app without dealing with a signing headache? Asking Apple for an old version of the app signed with your iCloud is actually still possible. First thing we need is an iPhone compatible with the Pale Rain jailbreak. Most iPhones are compatible, but the main limit is your iOS version, with newer iPhones requiring older versions of iOS. If you're on the latest iPhone 13, 12, SE second generation, 11, XR, or XS, you will need to be a max iOS 15.1. Older iPhones have full support for the latest iOS version supported on them, with my first gen iPhone SE and iPhone 6S having jailbreaks for iOS 15.7.2. Pale Rain isn't super difficult, but you will need to install Python 3 and Git, which might take some work. After you download Pale Rain using Git, you will have the option of tethered versus semi-tethered. If your device has more than 16GB of storage, you can use semi-tethered and your device will default back to a standard iOS code if you restart without being connected to a computer, while a tethered device will basically be a brick if you restart it away from a computer. I did both in my case. The iPhone 6S had 16GB of storage and the iPhone SE first gen had 32GB of storage. After installing and booting, the phone will reset the springboard and after logging in, you can install Pale Ring from the app. Cilio is the tweak manager as opposed to Cydia, and we really only want App Store++, which modifies the App Store executable to let us download all versions of apps we know. After finding the right app, we can hold onto the download button and attempt to manually choose the app and copy the build number. After returning to the app, we paste the number and the app is installed. The best part about this method is you're just getting the old version from Apple, so after you remove the jailbreak, your app will stay installed as long as you don't update. Additionally, your in-app purchases will be restorable and you don't have to deal with a seven day limit from self-signed apps from something like Side Loadly. Removing the jailbreak isn't a major issue, but I do recommend doing so in the case of a tether phone because restarting that phone will mean you'll need to go back to the computer to get it to boot to a usable state. I left the iPhone SE jailbroken, but it is a nice hefty 10 gigabytes of data that you'll have to carry around. So it's up to you if you want to keep your phone jailbroken for this. This is the end of the video, so if you liked it, hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you for watching my content and have a wonderful day.